extraordinary spike Looking for your ass and we hide With the inference so on the section Like some fucking disco lights We gonna cut you into itty bitty parts Meet me on your side of town Where they keep the graveyards Crushed glass dead rest Lots of trash not to have a player of his caliber but on the flip side of that the good news is they've shown their resiliency without him they've done a really good job of holding things together yeah I mean it's shown what a complete and deep team they are they really haven't skipped a beat so let's take a look at the State Farm starting lineup for the Orlando Magic Jason Richardson and Hito Jerkaloo are at the two and three Brandon Bass is out there with Howard and it's Arenas in at the point and for the Pacers Andy Granger and Tyler Hansbro make up the forwards. Here's Arenas. 14 points from him the last game against Atlanta. Now we'll go to Doris Burke, who had a chance to talk with head coach Stan Van Gundy. Yes, Kevin, making good decisions and being smart with their offensive chances is what Coach said is going to be a key to their success on this one. As he noted, they're up against a team that works very well together as a defensive unit. Forcing shots and rushing play. What you want, Steve? Well, that's the only way to go. I mean, this is a game about aggressiveness. And uh, if they're not aggressive, uh, that defense is going to swallow them up. Slammed in by Richardson. Here's another look with the Sprite Slam Cam. Now that's a special order right there. Pacers trail by three. You're right, Steve. Orlando has built an identity with that. And Clark, I'm sure you'd agree. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, they've had a pair of extremely talented sims. Well done finishing that one off. Now Hill. An 11-point game for him in the win against New York. Ranger from outside. Good. The assist goes on the assist by Nelson. Nelson's got his third assist on the night. And Jameer Nelson, one of the Magic players who really struggled in the playoffs last season. I mean, shot under 38% from the floor and was only 23% from distance. He just had a tough time shooting. His career. He always had some injury issues to deal with. They had, uh, last season, I thought he was pretty healthy, and he carried the burden for the Pacers offensively. If he can get a little help in that area, though, I think it would serve him very well. Six on the shot clock. Kicks it out to Jones. And taken away by Arenas. I'm not sure what they're thinking offensively. Poor decision on that pass. They are coming into this having notched a win against the Knicks in their last game. That was a great win. A real thriller. And I think their confidence really seemed to soar once they got into the overtime. So, you know, you think about it, Steve, as an underdog, sometimes the emotion of the game can swing in your favor when you get to overtime. He's picked up by Hill. And here's Turkaloo from the arc. Came back and forth, back and forth. Neither side caving in. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. Here's Howard and fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. They get Danny Granger. Well, that Who's should be a rule. No layups. Protect the paint. Make them earn every point. Yeah, I think that's just tough, hard nose, smash mouth basketball. Make your opponent earn their points from the line. Don't give up any layup. First one. Out, out. Here's Turkey. Seven points in the game. Outside Arenas. And the pass to Bass. Defended by George. For three, Richardson gets the bucket. Hansborough in at the five down low. 
So that's the group out there for Indiana. Four. Good. The assist goes to Hill. And here's Indiana. Gilbert Arenas covering. Hansbro against Turkaloo. Arenas against Hill. Here's Ford. Good. The assist goes to Hill. That confidence. Uh, so we'll see which team can kind of ride the momentum and take control of this game. Ito Turkalu with the rebound. Arenas against Ford. A baseline J. Here's Bass. The monster one-hand slam. Coaches are always screaming and preaching that. Get to the offensive glass and try to keep the ball alive. Well, that's just the tenacity you look for, isn't it, Steve? Yeah, and, and no messing around on the oh! season. Way to try to get ready for the season. Ford, 11 points in the game. Takes it up. And hands thrown. Magic. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. And if there was an aspect of the game that jumped out at me, guys, it was the rebound. There was a huge difference in the effort both teams were making on the glass. Well, they got pushed around all game long, and when that happened... Here's Nelson. He kicks it to Richardson. Back to Nelson. Get your mirror, get your mirror. The feet to Richardson. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Richardson's got his third basket of the night. Ford up top, and by Nelson. Nelson with the steal. The Magic trailed by five. Clark, this offense has really been clicking. No doubt about it, giving the defense all kinds of trouble. And they're playing with so much energy offensively. The ball is really moving. From outside the arc. Get the ball! And the rebound goes to TJ4. Here's Indiana. It's a five-point game. Releases from 15. No good. The Magic the other way. Say he's worked hard to improve his jumper, but it still hasn't clicked for him. I see him. I see him. Ford against Nelson. Reddick for three. And the rebound goes to TJ Ford. Ford's got three rebounds now. Oh! Now let's take a look at it once again with our Spike Slam Camp. Yes, indeed. North of L.A., a 6'8 athletic wingman. I think he's got a chance to be a two-way star in the NBA. Bass working against Granger. Nelson connects from good. Clark, going back to Paul George, drafted 10th by the Pacers back in 2010. They really needed another elite score to pair with Danny Granger. And uh, so, Steve, they took a flyer on George. Well, and I think what's interesting, Kevin, is that uh, they didn't really get the scoring from him, but what they got was an excellent defender. The paint without foul. Well, that's definitely a good look. I mean, defense can't be that relaxed. I mean, they've got man and expect him. He's got five. Ford with the steal. He wasn't paying any attention to the defense. Poor pass there. And he'll backs him in. And he lays it straight in. It's an 11 point pacer lead. They're taking it to the hoop strong now, getting a lot of points in the paint. And Steve, I love it. I mean, I like to see guys attacking the rim and taking it to the paint. It's fun basketball to watch. It's not for the faint of heart, though. You got to be a man to go in there strong. Nelson outside to end the drought. That's good. And so Howard with the assist. Nelson's got six points in the quarter. That's four of their last five coming from long range. This offense is cooking. Yeah, it's rolling. Really rolling. So no problem for Indiana as they get the win. Not much to be critical of with this win, Clark. Not at all. I mean, they showed up not just to play. They showed up to give great effort and to win, and they did both. And that'll wrap it up for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan, and thanks for tuning in. Don't know if you've seen it yet, but you're on the cover of yet another magazine.
What's it like to see yourself getting such worldwide recognition at this stage in your career? It's a real honor, man. I've been dreaming about playing in the NBA and being on magazine covers since I was a little kid. And now to see myself on another one is pretty amazing. It's the kind of thing I can look back on one day and be proud of, that's for sure. For now, I'll enjoy it some, but I can't let myself get too caught up in that kind of thing, you feel me? The team in this season are way too important for that.